Hello, hello, hello. Hello to all my beautiful loved ones. All my beautiful brothers and sisters all over the world. That includes you and you and you. How are you doing today? If you don't know who I am, I'm your boy, the writer. G.A. Wilson coming live and direct for Love Vec. You know me, how I get down, I go in, baby. Let's get it. Okay. I'm going to hold something up in my hand. Cash money, right? It's real money. Reason why I'm holding up this cash money in my hand right here because I had earned this cash money. This is actually tip money that I had earned at work. And my belief of getting this fourteen dollars, this fourteen dollars right here, fourteen dollars. My belief of getting this fourteen dollar tip. Even though 10 had came from one, one customer and $4 came from another customer, but I still added up as $14 all, all together because I got in, I got in the same day. I'm going by what run the, run the burn from the power, this book right here. Say, on page 155 from the power. She say, when some money comes in your hands, no matter how little it is, be grateful. That's what she say right here. Let me turn it, because I've written down on the note. Let me turn on the page and make sure I've written everything correctly on my notes. She say, yeah. It says the same thing, you know, be grateful of what you have. The first thing that I did once I had got this $14 in my hand, I went inside the bathroom and I took the money out and I threw it up in the air and I just said, thank you. Because I was very grateful for the little money that I have. I'm doing what Ron the Barn from the, uh, from the book, The Power Say, you know, when some money comes in your hand, no matter how small it is, you give thanks. You, you be grateful of what the little things you have. And my belief for this is this money will accumulate to something bigger. Many people don't know this. You know, many people complain, you know, about the little money that they have, the paycheck that they receive, and just don't know um, what they are doing. They are allowing this money to fly away. You know, you know. once they get their paycheck, they, the first thing they do, they start worrying, stressing how they are going to pay their bills. You know, I don't have enough to pay my light bill. Or the, this is not enough to pay the rent. Or you know, I have kids and I have enough to feed the kids. It goes on and on. But the first thing on the barn say, let's be grateful. You know, the check you have because being grateful is is saying that you being you get thanks for what you have. Not only being grateful for what you have, but also you have to be thankful that you have a job. That's what many people don't realize. You know, there are so many people on this earth wish they had the job that you have. Seriously, they wish they had the job you have. But they don't have the job because some reason they don't have the job. And some reason that happened that they don't have the job. So... You should be grateful of the job you have, no matter what job it is. I know the job that I have. I'm not wholeheartedly 100% love what I do because it's not what I want to do for a lifetime. 
but every day I wake up and I be on my job site on time. I clock I clock in five minutes every day before before uh start work. Five minutes before time I, I clock in. This just shows you I'm very thankful for what I have because this job paid my rent. It pays the bills that um that I have. Maybe not all of them, but it pays some of the bills that I have. And it also have money on the side that I could probably save up or, you know, entertainment that I can do, go out to the movies, you know, have a little fun, go see Jay-Z or Beyonce, whatever like that, you know. This money that I work for at a job that I'm not so wholeheartedly in, but I give thanks because this job's allowed me to have money, income in my pocket, in my bank, to pay bills and to go out and do things that I enjoy in life. But also, wow, while I'm doing something that I'm not so wholeheartedly in, I'm working on things that I enjoy doing at the same time. That's what many people don't realize. To get something better, you first have to be thankful of what's in front of you. The job you work at McDonald's, um, work at Taco Bell, or picking up trash. I don't know what it is. You, you, you get out of your bed mad and, and want to cause problems and want to fight and cuss people out. That is not necessary. You are the main reason why you are in what, what predicament the situation you're in because of how you acted and how you act upon this job that you have. If you don't like the job, you can freely quit anytime that you want. It's up to you. Just la uh, you know, lagging, a lot of gagging around, you know, causing problems on your job, cussing people out and all those things. That is not necessary. Or what you are doing, you are you are falling backwards. You are not getting what you want to get in life. It's going to take you longer to get what you need to get in life because the way you are acting. That's why I learned a long time ago, you know, as a reading, Ronald Barnes book, Ronald Barnes books, more than one, plural, you know, to be grateful. And I love how she's saying in her books, she said, she said somewhere in the pouch, she said she thought she was a grateful person growing up. But she realized that she actually wasn't grateful because she she telling me in her book that um that she wake up in the morning, this this automatically maybe saying it out loud or saying it in her mind of everything that she see and touch that she say thank you. And I say to myself, I can't wait till I get to get on that level and just be wake up and just Look at things and be like, thank you for a bed. Thank you for that clock. Thank you for for AC or heat. I'm not at that level yet, but I can't wait till I get there because that's when I know that I'm 100% grateful for all the things that come to me. But right now, I'm just taking those baby steps. As I was saying about this, this tip money, you know, right here, $14. Those people didn't have to give me this money, but I believe that I was enjoying what I'm doing and I was happy. I was um, giving them the best customer service and I was doing something for them that they thought, hey, I think I need to break them off some. Why not? And it's just because I'm grateful for what's in front of me. Even though it's not what I want to do for the rest of my life, I'm just getting myself ready. Ready. Get myself ready until I get to where I really want to be in life. But right now, I'm just thankful for what the little things that's in front of me, this little job that I have. Yeah, and you should do the same. I also want to give you some tips off from. 
from Ron Lamar's new book, The Magic. Let me bring it up to you right here. This book right here. Um, she said, also, in the man, I'm not fully finished with this book, but I'm gonna give you some little, um, some little, some little points off of it as what I've been reading, reading some points off from. She said, um, she has something in the book that you go in a 20, it's a 28 day period. It's a 28 day period book, but Right now, I'm, I can't do the 28 day period consistently. Right now, I think I'm on uh, 10, the 10th 10 day. But it's something like at the end of this book that she tells you to do. She say, write down 10 things that you're grateful for. And you're supposed to do it in every in every chapter. And I think that's very nice for for her to come up with something like that in the magic. Write down 10 things that you're grateful for. And at first, it was very hard for me to do something like that because I was like, I had to think very hard on what, what I'm grateful for. And I was like, you know, thinking. But I'm very thankful that she put that in the book to write it down. I think it's it's best for anybody to really look at it and see what is written down, like what they're grateful for. And not only she said, write down what you're grateful for, but also what's the reason why she took it. A, she took it a step forward and said, why you are grateful for? And I think that's the, that's when you just break it down. It's like I'm grateful for this because and. Once I started, I, I began to get the hang of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, start being grateful. Being thankful for the little things that you have. Like I was saying about this temp money. I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't even looking forward for that. I was just being happy. I was just being, uh, putting a smile on my face. And I was helping them to the best of my ability. And that energy, that frequency had rubbed off on them, that vibe had rubbed off on them. It's like, hey, he doing this for me. Let me do something for him. And that's what Ron LeBron talking about. Give. And the greatest gift to give to anybody is love. And that's what she say in the power. I'm not too much book, too much know what she's talking about in the match because I'm not finished with the book. I'm not consistent on it. I'm still taking time as of reading the power because the power has really touched me 100%. Um, but I would get there in the magic. But right now, the power is really helping me. And if you guys want more tips on the preview on, on what I have broadcast about the power, look at my other video where I give the, uh, the review of the power um, you can look it up. So, loved ones, um, take out the time to do that, please. And I know it will help you and help others. You put a smile on your face, being grateful for the things that you have. That's all I have right now to say to you guys. I thank you. Have a great day, guys. And also have a beautiful night.